Well, hello again, everyone. Professor Prophet coming to you from Craps University with session eight in our Bubble Craps Strategy Series. This will be the final uh, episode in this series, and this one is titled The Squeeze Play as we're playing homage to the opening of uh, baseball season this week, my favorite time of the year. And also, we're going to start with uh, bets all the way across the board, and we'll start squeezing those into the inside numbers, the six and the eight and hope that uh, we can come away a winner. This one's for a small bankroll, but it does uh, scale up and down. Uh, we're gonna start off the $500 buy-in, and we're looking to win 50 today. And uh, so let's head down to the felt now. We'll show the mechanics of this. We'll roll it out and uh, see if we have a winner. So we'll see you here on the Crapsy Virtual Felt shortly. See you in a second. We're gonna roll out our squeeze play system. This starts with the $500 buy-in, which you can see at the top right-hand corner of the screen. And we'll start off with a $1 bet on both the 4 and the 10, a $2 bet on the 5 and the 9, and a $3 bet on the 6 and the 8. And we'll do this once a number is established. Now on our first hit, we'll collect that, and then we'll take our $1 bets off of our 4 and 10, and we'll move those to the 6 and 8 respectively. On our second hit, we'll take the $2 bet on the 5 and 9 and move those to the 6 and the 8. And that'll help build a little bit of a tower on those inside numbers, which are the ones which are most likely to hit. So once we hit that 6 or 8, we'll just start everything over, spread everything out, and start with a dollar on the 4 and the 10, 2 on the 5 and the 9, and 3 on the 6 and the 8. Now if we do lose uh, when the 7 shows up, We'll step everything up, and that $1 bet on the 4 and 10 will become $2, and the $2 bets will become $4, and then the $3 bet on the 6 and the 8 will become $6. And as we hit, we'll move everything towards the middle, just like as we did at the base level. Now, once we get to our um, session high, we'll go back to the base level and begin again. The win goal today is $50. The stop loss is $200. So let's go ahead and uh, get a number established, and then we'll place our first bet. There's show 11, so we'll pay the front line on that and take the don'ts. And the next roll. And there's three crap, so easy come, easy go on those front line bets. And another, no, another yo 11. So eventually we'll get a number established here. There it is, that's 10 easy, the 6-4. And so our first round of betting, that's a dollar. We'll go ahead and do the buy bets on the 4 and the 10. And then a $2 place bet on the 5 and the 9. And a $3 place bet on the 6 and the 8. And here's the first roll, and that's the 8 easy. So that's our first hit. So we'll collect that 350, and then we'll um, take the $1 bet from the four and move it over to the six. And we'll take the 10 and move it to the eight. Let's try that again. And roll it again. There's your 11, so nothing there. Next roll. There's the eight easy, so we'll collect the uh, $4 there, four plus dollars. And now we'll move the five to the six. And the 9 to the 8. And looking for another hit here of 6 or 8. There's the no field 5, the 4 1. So let's roll it again. There's a 6 hard. Okay. So that completes that level. And we'll take these down and we'll just uh, start over like we did uh, before. It'll be a $1 buy bet on the 4 and the 10. And then a place bet for $2 on the 5 and the 9 and then $3 on the 6 and the 8. And let's roll it. And there's the 8 easy, so that's uh, another score hit. So we'll take that $3, and we'll move the 4 to the 6, and the 10 to the 8, and roll it again. And there's the center field 9, the Colt 45. So that's another score hit. So now we'll move the 2 to the 6, or excuse me, the $2 on the 5 to the 6, and do the same for the 9, move that to the 8. Let's see if we can get another hit here. And there's the 8 easy. So we complete that level once again. 
So as before, we'll take those down and we'll just rinse and repeat. That's a dollar on the four and the ten, two dollars on the five and the nine, and three dollars on the six and the eight. And this is uh, session eight in our bubble crap series here today. There's the AC Ducey. And this is going to wrap it up for us in our bubble crap series. This will be the final one. And uh, we've certainly enjoyed doing it, and we hope you've enjoyed watching it. So there's the uh, 4 2, the 6 easy. So we'll take that, uh, collect that win, and we'll move the 4 to the 6, move the 10 to the 8, and roll it again. And there's the 8 easy, the 6 2. So we'll once again, we'll collect, and we'll move the 5 to the 6, and the 9 to the 8. Looking for a six or an eight here. And there's the eight easy. So that's the third time. And, um, you know, things are going well here. And I promise you it won't always be this easy, but um, it's looking good right now. So we'll put those bets back up as we had before. That's one dollar on the four and the ten, two on the five and the nine, and three on the six and the eight. And just keep it rolling. And there's the center field nine. So that's another uh, three dollar win. So move the 4 to the 6, the 10 to the 8, and roll it again. And there's the 6 easy, the 5 1. So that's another score hit. We'll move the 5 to the 6, and the 9 to the 8. And uh, as you can see, we have 551 in our bankroll. So if I were in a regular casino setting, I would be cashing this out. I've hit my win goal, and uh, you got to be disciplined enough to walk away when you hit your win goal. So we would take this down and go away, but uh, this has uh, been a very short video. So uh, we will go ahead and continue, but just know that uh, if we're playing for real, that I would be walking towards that cashier's cage to cash that ticket right now. So here comes the roll, and there's the seven out. So that puts us at 539, 551 is the high water mark we're shooting for. We'll step everything up now. Let's get a number established. And that number is the 10. That's the 10 easy once again, the 64. And so now uh, we come back with two dollars on the four and the 10, four dollars on the five and the nine, and then six dollars on the six and the eight. Now, if we lose at this level, the next level would be $3 on the 4 and the 10, $6 on the 5 and 9, and $9 on the 6 and the 8. So that's kind of how that system, the step system works on that one. So here's the rollout, and there's the uh, bowl of popcorn, the double fives. So we'll take that, uh, collect that win. Everything is off on the come out now. That was the winner 10. And there's a 628 easy. So we're going to take the $2 off the 4 and move it to the 6. And do the same thing with the 10 and move it to the 8. And here's the next roll. And there's another 7 out. All right. So 551 is still the high water mark. So let's get another number established. And then we'll step up another another step here and there's a square pair of the hard eight so that's three dollars now on the four and ten and six dollars on the five and the nine and then nine dollars on the six and the eight all right, let's roll it. And there's the no field five, so we'll collect that $8. And now we'll move the four to the six and the 10 to the eight. And next roll. And there's the six easy, so that's a nice hit, $14 hit for us. And let's move the, the five to the six and the nine to the eight. And we're rolling. All right, there's the railroad tracks. And from one end to the other, there are the snake eyes.
Looking for a six or an eight. There's the winter eight, six two, winter eight. All right, so uh, that puts us at our high water mark, which is 562. So uh, everything comes down, and we would just start over at our base unit, $1 buy bet on the 4 and 10, $2 on the 5 and 9, and then $3 on the 6 and the 8. And let's turn those off until we get a number established. Here comes the come out roll, and five is that number, and now we're working. And there's the square pair, that's the eight hard, and so we just move the four to the six, and the ten to the eight, and uh, I think we're going to call that a session here. At, uh, we're at our high water mark at 565.88, well above our wind goal. And I think now you've got a pretty good idea of how the, uh, how the system works here. And, uh, of course, we've been very fortunate today. It won't always be this easy. We had a little bit of a rough patch there in the middle. But the system was able to, able to overcome that. And we walk away a winner, which is always a good thing. So that's uh, the end of Session 8 of our Bubble Craps System Strategy, or Bubble Craps Strategy Series. Easy for me to say. And uh, we hope you enjoyed each one of these systems that we presented to you. And um, we'll find some of them, if not all of them, profitable when you go to the casino. Once again, we thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed learning about the squeeze play today. Uh, kind of a homage to the opening of baseball season here recently. And uh, the squeeze plays that you see there. Although bunning's not a big thing in baseball anymore, it doesn't seem like. Uh, Professor Prophet coming to you from Craps University. If you're out there rolling those bones this week, we wish you nothing but the best of luck, and may all your rolls be winners. If you like this video, if you like this series, please hit the like button, and if you haven't subscribed, we uh, ask that you do so at this time. It's absolutely free. We're giving away scholarships to Craps University, and we would love to have you be part of the student body here. We'll talk to you again next Sunday. Thanks again for joining us. Bye-bye.